doing one of yours, getting me late. He was saying nice things about me to be fair. Well, yeah, my price, son. How are you? Yes, you too. Okay. Oh, this is you. Oh, we've been stuck in the. They closed um, the tunnel. So yeah. we've just stuck at the thing we had again. Yeah, all good, all good. Okay, they're gonna, they're gonna, Let's go. They're going to count me down. Well, hello, hello. Welcome to London for today's two part massive new signing unveiling here for Queensbury. As you can see from this top table, it's big, big news. Prince Nassim Hamid is simply one of the greatest fighters that this country has ever produced. And the hands that guided his career for so many years were the hands of Hall of Fame boxing promoter Frank Warren here. And now it's all about the next generation. Young Adam Hamid has joined Queensbury and joined Frank Warren. And I'm delighted to be in the company of new manager Sam Jones, the legend himself, Mr. Prince Nassim Hamed, Adam Hamed, who we're going to hear from, and a beaming promoter, Frank Warren. Uh, Naz, I'd love to just start with you. This is a big day for the Hamed family. Uh, tell us what's going on, and is, it, does this feel a bit surreal? You have to start with me. <laughs> uh, no, I'm like... <laughs> this is a huge day. Um, we've been waiting for it for a while. Um, I'm just so happy for Adam today. Uh, on the signing, uh, for me personally, no better uh, in the hands of Hall of Fame promoter. And I remember giving Frank um, a lifetime statue of me uh, in his office that said to the best promoter in the world from the best fighter in the world. And I always remain with that. In my eyes, Frank um, is a million times better than Eddie and all of them in this country. And they know that. They're only trying to catch up and try to be like Frank. <laughs> But that's one of the biggest reasons. Um, and also, I said to Adam and, and my family, my career only could go in a certain way simply because I had the best, I had the best promoter. He knew exactly where in the country that I should fight, where in the, what places, what opponents, and what arenas. And boy, did we sell them out. We sold them out and everything went good. I'm hoping the same. Today's a big day for me because as the father of, that, of Adam, it, it's, it's going to be a great signing. Uh, Adam's going to be on, on a regular, God willing, on the best shows, the biggest shows. He's got his other brothers here, Sami Sammy Nassim and Suleiman Nassim, who's also going to be fighting, and we're looking forward to Sami fighting too. So I, I'm... I'm more than more than happy uh, to sit here beside my son, and in my eyes, he's a future world champion. Sure and I, I just, I just hope, and and I pray that Allah makes him better than I was as as a world champion. Thank you, Naz. Let's uh, let's get a word from Sam Jones. Sam, uh, you've you've been giddy all week uh, about this. We've been messaging. You've got your <laughs> hero next to you. You've got Adam in the middle as well. Uh, uh, tell us a little bit about Adam. You've, he's up with Jamie Moore as well. Tell us a little bit. No, look, Adam's been training a long, long time for this. This isn't um, a game for him. He takes it very, very seriously, and you're gonna you're gonna see what what the noise is all about. He, he really is. This is his. His dad created a great legacy. Everybody knows his dad most exciting fight there's ever been. And Adam's going to create his own legacy. But well, only, um, you only you think that. No, no, not only me. <laughs> Frank thinks that as well. Um, <laughs> but no, this, this is Adam's time and it's going to be a very, very exciting, exciting journey. So tune in because he's got some pop, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like a young Naz yourself there. Um, let's bring in Hall of Fame boxing promoter Frank Warren. I mean, yeah, look, look across at the table. You can see the next generation uh, and the man who really has done so much for, for your career over the years as well. What, what a day it is. It's a marvellous day. I'm, you know, I'm, I, I can't tell you how thrilled I am. I've you know, Naz and I go back a long, long time. We had some fantastic, fantastic times together. Some historical moments, not just not just in British boxing, but in world boxing. Some brilliant times. Um, and parts of that, parts of his career were the best times I had in boxing. No doubt about that. And to be sitting here with his son, who I've got to tell you, he's much better looking than he was. <laughs> <laughs> was his much better looking. That's because um, of his mama. I know it is. 
<laughs> the, the lovely Alicia's, yeah. And it's and I've got to tell you, it's a, it's a privilege for me, and I'm I'm thrilled, and I'm looking forward to being part of this journey, and I'm going to give everything I got to try and get him into the position. That I will give him the platform and ensure that platform's there to ensure that he can emulate. If he does a, if he does a tenth of what his dad does, exactly, he's brilliant. You know, and and I know he, I know he, he's he, and what we've heard and what we've seen, he's capable of that, and he certainly wants it. There's no doubt about that. The desire and the hunger is there, and it's my job, and I will do my job well to ensure that the path is as smooth as can be for when you get to the stage where you hopefully are fight for a world title. Thank you. That's what we've got to do. Nice. Brilliant. Well, listen, Adam, it's all about you today. Let's let's hear from you. You must look around at this table and think, I'm in safe hands. Welcome to Queensbury. Uh, give us your thoughts on this big day. Yeah, of course. I'm, I'm in a great position to be here. Obviously, what my dad did with Frank created history, and uh, I'm looking to recreate that. I think... Um, I always wanted a UK promoter and I always knew in my heart that I wanted it to be Frank. I felt like he's always going to look after me the most. Um, I look at him like family. So big up Uncle Frank and thank you to everyone for coming out here today. Big up yeah. Sam, you know what I mean? He's, uh, he's been working tremendously hard behind the scenes and everything's finally unfolding now. So like you guys said, inshallah, I can deliver and uh, I'm going to put on a few shows for everyone. Let, let me scratch a little bit deeper, Adam. Where, where does your hunger to be a fighter really come from? Because, I mean, you've, you've clearly, you know, Naz is one of the most successful British boxers of all time. You'd have been brought up in, in great surroundings. Where did that hunger to be a fighter come from? I think it was always in me since a kid, obviously. You know what I mean? My dad says I come out of his left ball bag, so it, 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 it was always there. Um, but to be honest with you, I want to be respected for Adam Hamid rather than being respected for Naz's boy, you know what I mean? Be your own man. And, uh, and make my own legacy and be my own man, exactly. And I think, right. um, I think I'm on the right path. I graft every day like, uh, like it's my last day, you know what I mean? I really do, uh, I take this serious. And sooner or later, you're going to find out. We had your debut on a huge stage on the Usyk Dubois undercard. I saw you come out, you had your brothers behind you as well. I didn't see any nerves. Were you, any, were you nervous at all? I uh, I actually said I was waiting for them to sort of kick in, you know what I mean? I thought maybe when I see the crowd and and the rest of it and the lights, maybe it's going to kick in, but alhamdulillah, it never did. I actually felt very, very confident walking down there. I was uh, I was buzzing. I just couldn't wait to get in there and, and prove to myself and prove to others what I've, uh, what I've been doing in the gym. And Naz, how, how was that? For you watching that debut there was you know scenes of you ringside clapping on but you didn't go on the ring walk you were sort of watching it from afar T tell us how you felt in that moment I, I've got nothing to do with ring walks I've, I've been in you know I've had my time in the sun I've uh, done the best ring walks ever this this <laughs> this this time is for my son and it'll always be about my son and all my three sons because this is their time now and Adam's Adam's in the best position, like he said. Uh, Alhamdulillah, thank God. He comes at a stage where he really wants it. He, tw he trains twice a day, every day. Um, but I'm just, I'm just more than happy, you know, to be more proud to be a dad that's very supportive. I'm looking forward to see which Frank, which fight Frank's going to put him on first, which show, and how big that show's going to be. Is it going to be big enough for us, yo? <laughs> Well, Frank, over to you. Uh, any, any kind of uh, indication early on, on on when we can look at a debut and uh, what, what's the plan here? Well, we're, we're working on it. But uh, look, I want to say how it is. This is about his career. It's about Adam's career. This is about making the right moves at the right time. And it's about getting experience. And the big shows, the big, big shows will come in the future and hopefully he'll be topping those big, big shows. In the meantime, he's got, got to continue his education spending time in the gym, which I know he does, fighting regularly, and as I, keep, as I just said, experience, experience, experience. That's what boxing's all about, is learning and learning. He's got a good team around him, got a good manager. I know Sam Thanks, Frank. is a young guy. No, he's a young guy and he's out there and he's enthusiastic, he's got knowledge, and you know, he's, gonna, he's gonna be in there doing the bit for, his, for, you know, for, for the team. So this is, this is going to be a team effort, but at the end of the day, it's about 
getting experience. Definitely. That's sure. what it's about. It's not a peeing right. contest. It's experience, experience. And then when you're ready to go, you've got, you've got it. You know, you've, you, you, you've got that knowledge. You've got that, that behind you. You've fought on all, all types of shows, big shows, small shows. You've, you've fought on them all. And then you get the, the big stage. You're onto the big stage and you show everybody what you got. That's it. Well, Adam, we saw that that debut, and it, it was over very, very quickly. I wanted to see a bit more, to be honest with you. What what can we expect going forward from Adam Hamid? Because I, I didn't really get too much of an idea of your style that night either, because you got the fella out of there so quickly. What can we expect? Um, just to expect fireworks. I am I'm looking to entertain as well as get the knockouts. But like Frank said, it's an experience thing, and we're going to level up every fight and step by step. It's a it's a work in progress. Like you know what I mean. So. Um, I'm happy to get in there and get the job done but I also want to entertain but whatever Frank puts in front of me same outcome I'm coming for it all Where does this journey take you? Inshallah to the top you know I wouldn't do it unless I thought I was going to be in the big fights fighting for titles and I really do want to prove myself like that so hopefully to the top very soon I'm very conscious that uh, we're, we're going to lose Naz. We'll probably end this this part of the press conference very soon because we've got some Friday prayers coming up. But Naz, I've got to ask you, what role are you going to look to play in the career Boss, of Adam? We've got the manager. We've got the promoter here as well. What role are you going to play? I'm going to play the role that's, that is for only for me, and that is his dad, you that's know. That's um, Things are going to be taken care of in regards with Frank um, and his manager right here, Jones, I call him, Thanks. Jonesy, baby. <laughs> um, so, look, we're just confident that, um, that Adam produces the goods and he comes out. In my eyes, people think and say that there's a lot of pressure on him. He's got boots to fill. He's got no boots to fill and there's no pressure because if you've got it and you're naturally that good, and you're from them kind of genes, and you've got that DNA, then, yo, you just got to turn up. And that's what I used to say. I've already won. I just need to turn up. Uh, I'm, I'm hopefully thinking, God willing, inshallah, that's the same with my son. I'm confident that Adam's going to bring... See, we don't just wear drama. We bring the drama. Yes, sir. Thank you, Naz. Let's get a final word from Adam. Adam, today is, is all about you. What is your message to the fans at the start of your, your journey with Queensbury? Fight two onwards. Tell them something. Just thank you for everyone supporting. Uh, please keep supporting. Tune in. I'm really, really doing this uh, to better myself and better my life and, and prove to everyone that I can be something and I'm not just my dad's son. I'm Adam Hammond. And big up Uncle Frank. Can't wait to be part of the Queensbury team. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Naz. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, Frank. Let's get some photos down the front. We'll be, be, be back very, very shortly for part two. Really excited. Oh, so Adam. Yeah, we need to take one and then I'm out of this. Are we going down the front? No, no, we're staying up here. Do you want to do it up here? Yeah, yeah. Let me get in while I'm out of here. <laughs> Let's say Bismillah. Bismillah. Stay down here for me, please. Happy birthday, Mungo. Let's go. Happy birthday, sir. Happy birthday. It's birthday. Today. Yes, yeah, birthday today. Ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Who's on this side?